Hey, good morning, guys. I'm Johnny, owner of Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Uh, today, I wanted to try something different. Let's go into a little Q&A. I've never done one, so this is my first one. Uh, so don't judge me. <laughs> All right, so um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to just try to take five minutes of your time, if you allow me to. Um, I'm going to read some questions, uh, random questions off my uh, my last couple of videos and try to answer them as, as honest as possible, okay? All right, so here we go. We gotta put on my four eyeballs, all right? Awesome. All right, uh, Eddie Robertson. He says, uh, have you noticed that we're, that there are a lot of trees? Okay, I've noticed that there's, there's not a lot of trees in your area where you mow, I'm going to offer this to some of my customers with smaller yards uh, in certain neighborhoods to see if I can generate some income for the winter. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have a certain group of people <clears throat> that we do a year-round maintenance. And basically what we're doing is um, cleaning up their properties. You know, um, some people like to have their property looking neat and pristine at all times. So we usually do it bi-weekly and we go in with the mulching kits. Uh, we blow out their plant beds uh, and just kind of mulch everything up, trim their shrubs, you know, clean out their plant beds. Uh, just make the property look presentable because, you know, we all know during the winter time we tend to neglect properties and just leave them looking uh, kind of crazy. Uh, eventually what I want to do is get a, I guess a, a trailer with, uh, and do some leaf cleanup. I'm not sure if we're there yet. Um, I have enough work <clears throat> for my guys during the winter time to keep them busy. Um, and, and I like to kind of scale down during the winter time because like we all know guys and let's be honest after doing this month after month after month it gets a little bit tiring and, and you want to get some time off so for me even though I don't do a lot of the work uh, dealing with personnel dealing with, with, with a business it is uh, you know it, it, it's, it's tedious uh, and, it, and it takes a lot from you so what we do is um you know that's when i set up my family vacations and things like that so i don't want to stay 100 percent throughout the winter that's just the way i see my business so yeah that's the way uh, we're looking at it but yeah um eddie definitely uh do that for your customers and um you know you, you start off you know put out some flyers as a matter of fact you need to start off put, putting out flyers now this way it can uh you know, people can know that you actually offer this service and, uh, you know, take it from there. Now, the only thing I will say, Eddie, do not price anything right now because what's going to happen is, you know, you have to look at the tree and you have to know your vegetation. If it's, the, is, if it's a uh, deciduous tree and you know that it drops a lot of the leaves, then, you know, you have to kind of gauge, are you going to do a one-time cleanup or are you going to do every two weeks? You see what I mean? So think about that and think about the equipment you have and the amount of people that you have doing it and how long is it going to take you. So there's a lot of variables that you have to look at before you actually start that sort of uh, business. All right, uh, close to four minutes. <laughs> so let's see the next question. Uh, I think the enclosed trailer, uh, and this is coming from Mr. C's uh, Lawn Care. I think the enclosed trailer is the way to go. I'm a part-timer, but my wife needs her garage back thanks for the video hey mr c i know what you mean man um i personally had to move my whole my whole business from uh away from my home because i, I didn't want personnel coming to my house i didn't want uh just to be out in in my subdivision um cleaning mowers and doing work and you know it's it's no i wanted to separate things uh an enclosed trailer is awesome because you can keep all your equipment in your enclosed trailer and uh, you don't have to take stuff off and put stuff on um one thing i will say is that try your best to minimize 
the additional or the backup equipment. You know, get your combi system with the different attachment that will minimize you having a string trimmer, an edger, a mower, I mean, not a mower, but, um, uh, you know, a, a hedge trimmer, you know, all these different uh, pieces of equipment that's going to take up a lot of space. Get your combi system with the different attachments and little by little, buy it little by little. You don't have to try to buy everything at one time and, and, and you can have that. Um, uh, and then, you know, you can have you an additional mower um, as a backup. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, a big mower. It doesn't have to be a new mower. Get your used mower that is reliable and you're not using all the time. And, you know, in case something breaks down, you can utilize that as your backup and minimize uh, the, the stuff in your garage because, you know, you got to keep that wife happy. <laughs> all right. Let's go into the next question. Uh, uh, da, 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 Bill... P-F-E-I-L, feel. Okay. If you got time, I was wondering what you thought, what were your thoughts? Now, I got an edger, but I don't think I've used the thing in years. I just get such a tight edge from using the trimmer. Plus, it saves time. I am, wrong. am I wrong to look at people who use edgers as amateurs? No, 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 not definitely. Um, one thing that you got to re remember, um, Bill, is that as a business owner that I have employees, it's easier and faster for me to put an amateur on a stick edger than it is for me to train them to edge with a string trimmer. So, and it's, and it's faster to me, it leaves a, a crispier edge if you're not a professional. Now, it took you a while to get to where you're at. And I know because I was in the same spot. Um, so, no, no. What you need to realize is that don't look at people as amateurs. You know, I mean, no, why? You know, if, if, if somebody want to use an edger and the door is ringing, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, it was a FedEx guy. <laughs> But yeah, um, don't look at others as amateurs. You just keep in mind that, you know, the, the, we have one task and there are several ways to get that task accomplished. Um, some of us are pros, even though I know how to edge a walker and a walkway and, and a driveway with a string trimmer. Um, as soon as I get to a property, the first thing I do is I pick up my stick edger and I go and hit it real quick, get it over with. And sometimes I don't feel like taking out the stick edger, so I just use the string trimmer. So it's a personal pre uh, preference. So no, no, no. It's you know there's there's reasons why people do certain things. So you know, don't look at them as amateurs. Just look at them as you know, do trying to get that task accomplished the best you know, the way they feel like at that one particular time. Okay. I hope I answered your question. Hey, thank you for uh, uh, leaving a comment. I love that. All right, uh, one more, one more. Uh, upscale, long care, Monroe. Nice, man, really nice. He's talking about my setup. <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it very much, Johnny. Thank you for uh, uh, being one of my uh, uh, subscribers. Hey, by the way, um, I have a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher in both my trucks, okay? Um, so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to... Uh, uh, you know, show you every little detail, but safety, 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 guys. You have to have these things. And in some states, I know that they're, uh, they'll stop you, and you, if you don't have certain things, they'll find you. So, guys, make sure you have a fire extinguisher, and make sure you have a fire extinguisher that extinguishes um, uh, fires with, uh, you know, engines and, and, and that type of thing, you know, not, not regular water fire extinguishers. So make sure that you get the right type of fire extinguisher for uh, your trailer, uh, either enclosed or open, all right? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. a, &A Professional Services, nice setup, man. Thank you, man, appreciate it. Uh, and let me see, one more, one more, one more. Why do you prefer curve shaft edger? It's just a personal thing. Um, I've been using it from day one, and, and I purchased an attachment a straight edge 
uh, attachment and I used it and it was a little bit awkward to, uh, to me. Um, like anything guys, once you're used to something is, is, you know, if you don't really want to, to change your ways, you know, you're going to stick with what you know, right? Same thing like me, you know, I prefer the curve shaft. Um, so I use it. There's no specific reason. Oh man, you know, the curve shaft is going to give you a better cut than the straight shaft. Um, the edger, you know, no, no, no. It's all about us, my preference at the moment. Okay. All right. Uh, All right, in regards to, let me try one more, one more random. Let me just throw this out and I'm looking at my computer here. All right, uh, do you sow ride grass during the winter, winter? And that's from, again, Eddie. Man, Eddie, you asked a lot of questions, huh? <laughs> Appreciate it though, I love your comments, guys. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't. Um, it's not... And, and the only reason is because I've, I've offered this service and I only had two people actually took me on it and I did it and it was okay. But then the next year they didn't want it uh, because they're military and they moved out uh, my, my area. So certain things I don't offer guys because I don't want to spend the money for something that is not requested as much, just like aeration. Um, in my in my location and, and for me, I don't have anyone that wants it. Even though I've I've been giving them, you know, I send out little pamphlets or whatever with uh, in emails with the benefits of aerating. Um, and maybe it's because we have sandy soil uh, in my location. And let me tell you, man, if you guys fertilize, let's say on the average of three times a year, we have to fertilize four and five because. Uh, you know, as soon as you water that thing, it goes right through. So it's not a need uh, as if uh, you were in, in, in a clay or, or a compact area. Um, I think the whole year, last year, one lady called and requested it. And um, I called one of my buddies that have the machine. And he, he, he was like, you know, yo, you know, I have this machine just sitting here for the longest. And, and this is the first lady that actually, <laughs> you know, that I'm going to use it on. So, no, it's not a service that people request in my area. So, therefore, um, I do not uh, offer it. All right. All right, guys. Um, five minutes, 22 seconds. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting this channel, guys. Um, I love doing YouTube. It takes a lot of effort to do YouTube. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to send these questions. Um, I'm going to try to do this uh, Q&A at least once a week. Uh, I don't have a specific day and time, but I'm going I'm to try to do it to, you know, just to answer some questions because it's quicker and easier for me to answer these questions online and be honest with you than to, to type this, this stuff. You know, when I was in the military, I had a secretary, so she's the one who I uh, usually did all my typing and uh, I'm not the fastest guy. You know, I pick, 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 but I get it done. Right. All right. I'm blabbering guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, it's getting kind of cooler out there. Uh, today is supposed to be like 85 or something like that. But drink a lot of water, guys. Temperature is still uh, a little bit on the warm side. Work hard. Work smart. And remember, there's one specific task that we all accomplish, but we all have different ways of doing it. All right? Pop smoke. Peace.